This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2007 Ford F350 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a Lariat, which is leather. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive, and it's got the FX4 off-road suspension package. This truck has 132,424 miles. It was purchased directly from a uh, new car dealer as a trade-in out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it was a Ford Motor Credit vehicle. It was one owner. I'll show you the Carfax. It's a great Carfax. Um, Anyway, we got it here. Um, we did our inspection, which is just the type stuff. And then my guys hand me these nice notes about how great it is. It is a cool truck. Anyway, it says super nice truck bulletproof. We brought it in here. Uh, usually we won't bulletproof anything under uh, uh, 150,000 miles, but this thing's a sweet truck uh, running wise. It's got a bunch of dings and dents all over it. It was a truck, but uh, mechanically it was worthy. Um, so. We spent the money, we did the new Bulletproof EGR cooler, new Ford oil cooler, new IPR, new gaskets, coolant, Rotella oil and filter, uh, number three glow plug was replaced, and we repaired a tear in the driver's seat. Other than that, uh, I'll show you the Carfax, you'll see that it's been really well taken care of um, from a mechanical standpoint. Um, cosmetically, it's a decent looking truck, but it's got dings and nicks and a couple things here and there that I'll show you. Uh, the goal of these videos is not really so much to sell them as much as it is just to uh, make sure that the truck ends up at the right house or at the right business or wherever it ends up. Um, that way everyone's happy, everyone knows what they bought, there's no surprises. And because we have 500 to 1,000 people a day see every one of our vehicles, we don't have to force this vehicle upon the one person who will see it in a month, which is what brick and mortars have to do. Yeah, one guy gets in this car, they better sell it to him. There's a couple dings here, right on top of this fender, and I see a couple little dings on the roof there, right there, right? Um, saw a couple towards the bedside. I mean, it's pretty important for you. If you're looking for a cosmetic beauty, you probably need to keep looking. We have a couple really nice looking trucks. Um, this one is actually, a, it's decent looking, but I don't want people to think that uh, it's perfect or even near perfect because it's not so please go through the video check it out um, my brother will take this out for about 60 to 80 HD pictures there's a little device a little magnifying glass to allow you to zoom in on on uh, whatever you want to look at so you can see some dents right here kind of long um, please use that um, don't be lazy um, I don't want anyone saying, I didn't know it was there. You know, if you really want to look at this truck and you really, really care about the uh, minutia, the small stuff, you can look at the small stuff. Just got to do the work and drag that mouse with the little magnifying glass and click and there you go. There's your, got a little gooseneck in there, old school. Yeah, you got little dings here. The guy uses a truck. Obviously, by that fifth wheel hitch, you probably use the tow, you know? And when you do that, that means you're using the truck as a truck and not as a car, which is why uh, the uh, service records are so good and why it runs so good, but doesn't look so good because he used it the way it was supposed to be used. Let's see. It needs a battery in the remote, I can tell you that. Yep, definitely needs a battery in the remote. Of course, you, even if it needed a new remote, you can get one at Pep Boys for, what is it, $19 now? It takes about one second to program them. So that's hardly a problem. All right, 132,431 miles. Alright, I'll walk around this car after we go into the hood. We'll go into the hood first. Alright, first thing we want to do is take out the oil cap and look for blow by. Zero blow by. 
which I would expect with the Carfax and the fact that we bulletproofed it. Board stamp there, board stamp there, cap stickers where they belong. Whoever had this truck took really, really good care. There's a Ford sticker there and a Ford stamp there. This coolant bottle looks like somebody's replaced it in the last, I don't know, probably 30 or 40,000 miles, which just is more evidence of the maintenance this thing lived through. All right, this is the passenger rear window. It's a nice truck. This is the kind of truck you can uh, tow boats with and not worry about backing into the hitch and getting one to commit suicide because you dinged up your truck. But you can trust it because it was taken care of. All right, so locks of window work. There's the heated seat on and off. See forward, back, up. That was already up already. Let me go down first. Down and up. There you go. Rear seat up and down. Front up and down. That works fine. See, it looks like it's in good shape. Center console. Go on there. We have a full manual, wheel, key, there you go. Like I said, these videos aren't uh, fancy. They're not, uh, gear they're not intended to uh, puff the goods. They're intended to uh, inform people and get to the point. The window there. All right, more information. To help you. Kelly Blue Book, 132,000 mile long bed Lariat. Suggested retail price $23,185. Now, if there was an option for bulletproof EGR, Ford oil cooler, IPR, it would add four grand. So realize that that, <laughs> that would be the best option of all these options if it was available. Um, so it's probably worth more than that. But anyway, uh, let's see. Wheel Kinetics. Here's the VIN for the Carfax. It was a one owner, uh, no accident damage. Let's see. It was born in Lubbock, Texas. And then it started going on its little way here. Right here they did, uh, I like this one, uh, power steering pump replaced, hydraulic control unit replaced. And that was at 84,000 miles. That's excellent good news and we keep going down here there's a good one rear diff pin pinion seal replaced at 93 more good services there see what I mean this guy took care of it that's for sure 131 I like this one it says fuel injectors or injectors replaced I'll bet he did them all at 131 that's a thousand miles ago and then uh, even more recent, 500 miles ago, did all the brakes all the way around, which is why we didn't have to do brakes. They already did them. Um, let's see. Like I said, Ford Motor Credit was the uh, lender on this thing to this person who traded it in. Whoever is behind that black right there. Now Wheel Kinetics is the owner. There you go. All right. Let's see. Driver window. Passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. Door locks, mirrors. Out, in, down, up. Other side, out, in, up, down. All right. Seat on and off, forward, back, up. Down, front up, front down, rear up, and rear down. Perfect. We got power pedals here. Up, down. There's your tilt wheel. Alright. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's hit the uh, 
systems check here. Watch that run through it while I put on my seatbelt. There you go. Nothing going on there. Alright, tow on and off right there. Radio. controls. Right. Radio works fine. System changer. Air is blowing ice cold right now. Heat up and down. Let's try the steering controls. There's your fan up and down. Temperature up and down. So everything works there. Trailer stuff. Boom. All right. Let me put it in neutral. Oh, you know what? Let me try the sliding rear window. Boom. Didn't this thing have a custom bumper? I wonder if it even has, I don't think it has parking sensors because it has a custom bumper, but we'll try it. All right, there's four low, drive. Maybe it's just a custom front bumper, I'm thinking. Now I can't remember what the bumper is on this thing, the rear bumper. All right, we're in reverse. Let's just go back here and see what happens. Yeah, no, it does have parking sensors, there you go. All right, neutral. Four high, drive. This is a quiet setup, a 6.0, I like it. I like when they're quiet. And reverse and four high, boom. Two wheel drive, let's go for a ride. All right, it's on clear title. Very nice truck, been bulletproofed. If you come here to drive it home, you're gonna pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250, taxes are 2% city tax plus your state. So if you come here to drive it home, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2%, plus a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is agreed upon price. Uh, what, if you're gonna ship, once we receive your wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, notarize it, scan it in your online file, and we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope that we mail it to you in your uh, vehicle's file that you'll have for many, many years, all right? Uh, so you'll be able to see that stuff before it even hits the mail. Um, what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Uh, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. So please get your deposit in. This is a 0760 that's been bulletproof with relatively low miles and an excellent Carfax. This is not going to last forever, okay? Yes, it's got a couple dents, more than a couple couple dings here and there uh, it's got a serviceable set of tires um, and it's been bulletproof it's gonna take not very long so please make sure you're ready to get your deposit so that somebody doesn't beat you out after you've spent an hour of your life looking at it and considering and all that stuff uh, let's see what else uh, warranty speech it's a hundred and thirty two thousand mile ten-year-old truck there's no warranty Ford bailed on it many years and many miles ago if uh, they bailed on it uh, and they built it, that should tell you something. They didn't know what would happen after X amount of miles or X amount of years and they built it. We don't know more than Ford, although lately you would be uh, on a 6.0, I think, or a 7.3, we know more than Ford. They call us with questions. So, <laughs> um, but that being said, uh, what we're saying is this is not risk free. We give you all this information, tons of information. Kelly, titles, Carfax, pictures, video, um, everything we know you know, but at the end of the day, we can't tell you for sure that it's not gonna break the day you get it. If we if we could tell you that, we'd make a billion dollars instantly. We'd be the best car buyers in the world. Um, we would never buy a bad car, but I don't know that, okay? Um, what I do know is I'm sick and tired of being behind this bus doing, I don't know, 25, Jesus. Um, so please realize that uh, you know, you're not buying a new vehicle and if it breaks the day you get it, you're gonna write a check to fix it. We're not writing checks. This is a big boy and a big girl sport. If you don't like that, please go buy something new. Do not buy anything from us. I'm not singling out this truck. This truck, if you look at the end of every video, every single video, I say the same thing. Um, this is a fantastic truck. I'd get in it right now and drive it to Alaska, but it doesn't mean I'd make it there. I don't know, okay? Um, so 
just realize what you're buying, understand what you're buying, uh, think about it, and uh, that's it. Thank you for your time.